In this video, I'll introduce you to the Toshiba Tecra C50 laptop. Remember that you can pause this video at any time to review the information in detail. Also note that your actual unit might appear differently due to customizations or model skew differences. Let's take a look at the product with callouts describing each port. First, we'll look at the left side. Now we'll look at the right side. Notice the DC in port. This is where you plug in your AC adapter. Now we'll look at the front. There are three LED status indicators on the front of the computer. I'll briefly describe what each one is and what they're used for starting on the very left. AC power and battery indicator. When AC power is connected and the battery is fully charged, the LED is on in solid white. If the battery is charging, the LED will glow amber. When AC isn't connected and the computer is running off the battery, the LED is off. If the battery is low and is in need of a recharge, the LED will flash amber. On-off indicator. When the computer is on, the LED is solid white. If the computer is in sleep mode, the LED blinks an amber color. Note that when the computer is in sleep mode, you can wake it up by pressing the power button. Wi-Fi radio antenna on-off. When this light is white, the Wi-Fi radio antenna is turned on. Now we'll discuss the external monitor capabilities. Using the HDMI and RGB ports on the side of your C50, you can connect external monitors to your computer in conjunction with the LCD of the computer for a total of three displays. The monitors will need to be configured through the Windows operating system or graphics properties for usage and resolution. Now let's discuss the keyboard function keys. By holding down the key labeled FN and pressing one of the function keys, you can use the special features. The most common functions are raising and lowering the sound level by using the key labeled FN and the F9 key to lower, or the F10 key to raise the sound level, raising and lowering the display brightness by using the key labeled FN and the F2 key to lower, or F3 key to raise the display brightness, turning the Wi-Fi antenna on and off by using the key labeled FN and the F12 key, and using the key labeled FN and the F5 key combination to toggle the touchpad on and off. Now that we've covered most of the common features, let's discuss some troubleshooting tips. If your unit will not start, here are some things you should do. First, ensure you attach the AC adapter and power cable properly. If you're using the AC adapter, check that the wall outlet is working by plugging in another device, such as a lamp. You should also verify that the computer is receiving power from the external power source by looking at the AC power light. If the indicator is glowing, the computer is connected to a live external power source. Verify that the computer is on by checking that the on-off LED indicator is glowing white. If the indicator is glowing, the computer is on. You can also try turning the computer off and then on again. If it still doesn't power on, you'll need additional support. If you're a business customer and have an internal help desk, you may need to contact them directly for support. For additional information, like user and quick start guides, visit support.toshiba.com. Enter your model or serial number, and then select the Manuals and Specs tab. To find your model or serial number, look at the bottom of your unit as shown here. Also note that because some units are customized, not all features and software are applicable to your unit. This concludes this video on the Tecra C50 laptop. For more information, go to support.toshiba.com.